Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this video I'm going to show how to create a robot assembly using 2D uh, robot parts typically used for a uh, laser cutting. So the idea is to show you how to uh, assemble all these parts in a SOLIDWORKS assembly uh, file based on these uh, DXF uh, files uh, used for laser cutting. Okay, so in the video description you have a file, a zip file, containing a folder DXF with many designs of different kind of robots. In particular, we're going to uh, uh, implement uh, or to show, I'm going to show you how to create uh, the, the assembly of uh, a dio robot. Okay, so let's start by creating uh, and opening uh, a new file. So what we need right now is in uh, once you uncompress your folder, uh, your zip file, you will have find a DXF folder, and inside you will find a DF, uh, sorry, FMD uh, three millimeters folder, meaning that these folders are uh, containing or this uh, this folder contains files in order to be manufactured with the laser cutting with a three millimeter thickness. Okay. And in particular, we go to Dior and we have many different designs. Okay, so let's start or let's select the Goku robot. Okay, let's select this robot, for instance. Okay, so if you select this DXF file, this AutoCAD file, then what you have to do is to import uh, as a new file with a Crocus 2D. Okay, so this is a 2D sketch. This is the aspect of the file you are importing, and then what you can do is uh, unselect the uh, the layers that you are not interested into. Just select this one, for instance, because we are going to create a solid world part only for the face of a robot. Okay, the units are based in millimeters, and we just simply need to finish. Okay, so once we have imported the file. We are now in the sketch mode in which we have all the lines here from the 2D uh, CD file. So now we have to just select and delete those lines that we are not interested in. And because of uh, this file was prepared or was uh, it, it is ready for being laser cutted, it has some small gaps here, as you can see, that were generated in order to avoid that the parts uh, fall apart once you do the laser cutting. So in this case, we need to join and have a closed contour. Okay, so for that, we're going to fix this model just by creating small arcs here, basically to give some continuity to the shape of the, of the part. So we can create this. Uh, we can join these two. We can create this and this. Ah, and there it is. Okay, and uh, also that one. We need to put it together. Okay, that's it. Okay, so that's uh, the actual part and the shape of the part that we would like to build. Okay, so now we can exit from the sketch mode and with the sketch selected we can just simply extrude and we in the depth here we just simply put three millimeters and that's the actual uh, thickness of the part once we do the laser cutting and we just simply accept okay and that's uh, the, uh, the part we can use for our purpose and we can just simply save it and let's call it Goku face okay now let's do the same but with the uh, in this case the uh, the base of the robot so I select again the same file I import it as a 2d sketch I just unclick uh, and check here the, the layers that I'm not interested into and then just simply finish Okay, now I'm going to clean all these parts here. All these lines actually, not parts. Okay, this one, this one. 
yeah we, we can delete it because we can just simply join it like that okay now we are going to join this one and now it's vertical to that one okay now it's joined there and we can just simply delete those and there it is okay now it's uh, a close contour so it's uh, recognized by shadowing the part uh, we just simply exit from sketch mode with the model selected we extrude three millimeters again and there it is and we save it so this will now be named as goku uh, base okay so now we have both parts i can close that we can create a new assembly and with that assembly, we just simply need to import the base first. And if we open now the face, uh, there it is, there it is. Okay, these are the two parts, okay? So now I would like to create some uh, constraints uh, between the parts. The base by default, because it's the first uh, part that I selected, it's the fixed one and the other one is a floating one okay so means that now i can create a mate between uh, those um, parts for instance uh, i can select this side here of this face and this should be coincident with this face here so i create this mate relation and it has to be coincident okay now you can see that the face has been aligned this this face here has been aligned with this face here okay and even if i move the component it will be always aligned okay it will be always aligned always there okay because we have this uh constraint there okay so we have a, a relation just that the both of them are coincident okay so now let's see let's assume that we want to create a uh, a constraint here with that one and we just simply do the mate uh, coincident uh, okay wait it should work no there's something let me see this one is not correct okay let's just simply delete it uh, it should be uh, okay let's do this one with this one should be correct now okay there's it seems that there's a slight error on the on the design so there's a couple of millimeters that that's why it was complaining Okay, now uh, I want um, this one with this one. And I create this mate and now it will be there in the correct position. Okay. Okay, so we have to repeat this by incorporating many other uh, parts of the robot but also in the folder with uh, the name solid under the, the name SolidWorks, you have folders for uh, including also the electronics. In this case, you can include, let's say, a nano shield, let's say, expansion board, and you can just include it here. Okay, this is uh, sorry, I open it. Okay, so now I want to insert a new one and then I insert here and then I have to create all the rest of the parts in the uh, I have to put all the rest of the elements in my assembly okay thank you very much